So I'm going to show you guys the new updates that I've made to Strut and give you a brief introduction for the people that have never seen Strut before. So Strut is a presentation editor to create uh, Impress.js presentations. Uh, so it's a tool kind of like Keynote or PowerPoint to create presentations like the one you see here. So you get 3D transitions, zoom in, zoom out, rotate, scale. Um, so the addition that it has over PowerPoint or Keynote is you get this cool transition editor to set up these style transitions. First, I'll talk about the slide editor. It's got the commands you'd expect, new, open, cut, copy, import, export. Um, you can also create your sl basic slide components from here, like text, image, video, website, and change your slide background if you like. More about that later. Save As has a new feature in that it supports remote storage. So anybody who implements the remote storage protocol, you can save your presentations with. You can go to remotestorage.io to learn more about that. You can also save in local storage or export your presentation to JSON um, and save it in version control or whatnot, and then import it later. So let's go ahead and make a presentation. Uh, we can insert an image here, as always, with a URL, or you can browse to the image on your local file system. You can um, center your components now with those controls, scale, rotate, and skew, as always. You can also undo these. Uh, from the menu or the shortcut control Z command Z you can also copy and paste control Z control V and undo those as well so we can add slides and we can sort the slides and some new changes in text is that when you scale it it actually changes the font size so your fonts uh, stay crisp and when you move text, if you just move it, or if, when you move any component, if you just move it, it's a freeform move. If you hold down shift and move it, it snaps to grid lines. So you can get a precise layout while you hold shift and move. And shift and rotate, as you saw there, is a 15 degree rotation, whereas regular rotate is freeform. And you see scaling there changes the font size. So your font stays crisp. The color picker remembers your last, uh, well, the last colors you've used. So it's easy to keep your presentation uh, with the same theme since it remembers the, pres the uh, colors you just used. So here we'll add a new slide in the center. And of course we can remove that. You can add videos and we support YouTube or HTML5 videos, so like WebM. Uh, you can insert websites and scale those as any other component. But let's go ahead and insert a different image. A regular scale will preserve the aspect ratio. Shift and scale will let you change the aspect ratio. Center it up. And then we'll go to the uh, transition editor. I'll first show you the backgrounds. You can preview your backgrounds as you hover over them. Those will make more sense after I show you the surface backgrounds on the uh, overview editor. So this is what would be most unfamiliar. This is where you can lay out your transitions between slides. Right now, we just have a basic layout, kind of a linear set of transitions um, like you would expect in PowerPoint or something. So here we just slide over in the same order, same way that we saw in the transition editor. Uh, one cool feature is hitting escape brings you to the overview mode uh, where you can click any slide you want to go to and qu quickly jumps to that slide. So here we'll lay out the slides in a new relationship so they go up as kind of like a staircase and now our transitions move up diagonally. You could rotate in X, Y, and Z directions for more complicated transitions as you saw in that presentation at the very beginning. You can also scale different slides to give a zoom effect or give it actual Z height you know, to give you a zoom in zoom out effect. You can manually change the settings if you want to be precise. And again, shift and drag snaps the grid lines. So any operation you can do, if you hold shift while you do it, it'll give you a more precise 
form or an alternate form of that interaction. And changing the slide background gives you the slide look and feel, kind of a traditional you know, slide look. So that's the difference between slide and surface background. Surface is the entire background, slide background is you know, the slide. So let's just put in some funky transitions so you can kind of see the possibilities with strut. Take some experimenting, but after you've experimented and used it a bit, you know, you, you understand what you can do and create all sorts of cool transitions and presentations. And we're also looking for designers to help work on uh, strut and sample presentations. Take the background out so we just have our surface background. And there you go. Thanks for watching, guys.